So, it's been a while since I've done one of these videos. Um, been in and out of hospital, having part of my foot amputated. So, um, yeah, I never did get around to doing the every Tuesday video. But, um, anyway, besides all that, I have been doing lots of printing. Lots and lots of 3D printing. Um, I only think from the Christmas... Um, bits and pieces these have a little tea light that sits in the back of them lights up and they look really nice of an evening um, then I've done some pretty big eggs you can see the size of these uh, and to go with them I've been doing matching dragons so um yeah, just your ordinary run-of-the-mill stuff, but the grandkids are going to be happy at Christmas. I hope. Famous last words. Um, and then I'm still trying to get this um, room, studio, office, whatever you want to call it, um, kind of uh, a bit more sorted. Try and get a look of this rubbish that's on the desk put away. And um, so I've been printing drawers, lots and lots of drawers. So uh, these um, fit underneath the desk. And as I've got a lot of desk space, I need a lot of drawers. Just see if I can get this off the plate. This is literally just finished printing. So, uh, um, yeah, these are the, uh, this part will screw underneath the desk and then the drawers here slide in, says he, they do slide in, every one of them has, oh and this one that I want to show you, anyway, it will show. I might have to deburr it, only because I've put um, the base on it, so, uh, yeah. okay, Steve, should we start again, right, it should go, right, Yeah, it does when you line it up. So, um, yeah, this screws under the desk. And then we have the drawer. Which is not properly in. Cut. We'll start that again. Well, wouldn't you know... done about 10 of these and every one of them's fitted perfectly until now no, that's it right so yeah once you line it all up and get it straight these slide in so this would be under the desk and the drawer closes right so um probably better than i show you some of the ones that i have done but these print really well. Um, let me see the finish on that. But that's Pet G I've done this, uh, the drawers in. And PLA for the uh, bit that screws under the desk. Um, and they've worked out really, really well. Right, I'm going to stop there for a sec. Grab the GoPro, which is here in one of the drawers. So if I get the GoPro, I can show you a lot better what I've been doing. Um, right, let's turn the GoPro on. Let's turn the GoPro on and take a burst of photos. I forgot what I was using it for last. Um, I'm doing really well on this, aren't I? Okay. Right. So I will now show you with the GoPro, the drawers, 
that I've already um, fitted. So, um, yeah, here we go. So, there's the drawers under uh, the desk, like so. Um, I've just got odds and sods really in these at the moment. Um, and then on this side, I've got some. Now, these I've started, um, I've been using Tool Trace, and basically, you take a photograph of the items that you want and it will trace all the items and then you can 3d print an insert for the drawer so um the hole that's missing at the top there is actually for the gopro that i've just taken out and i did it with the media mod attached so the gopro and the media well um just go straight in the top there so um that's uh so there you go, you can see how easy they do go together. Um, this one, I've just stuck a few lights in at the moment. Um, more to go. There's an empty one. Um, so the one that I just printed somewhere here, um, that will actually go in there. So that one will go there. Um, I'll probably get another one, two, maybe three in there. I'm going to put another one at least here, and then along there, there'll be some more. Um, so, yeah, um, there's some of the other stuff I've been printing. Um, the eggs, and bits and pieces, Christmassy stuff, really. Um and since I've last done a video, I've added more Scadis boards along here. Barring those two metal shelves there, everything else I've 3D printed. Um, all the different holders. Um, that one there is actually, I don't know if it'll come out that well on this, but you can see there it's um, for the Sony ZV-E10. Um, sits on there quite nicely uh, along here I've got various different filament holders um, bits got my iPads um, and my um, drawing balls keyboards lots of bits and pieces all organized or getting organized anyway um, so yeah there's an example of the tool trace so that there is um, printed, and what I did was took a photograph of this portable spotlight, and it fits in there, which will in turn go in one of the drawers. So uh, yeah, been lots and lots going on. Um, right, let me come back around to this camera. Because hopefully we'll see a lot better. Um, yeah, I've got a whole load of stuff to print for in this room. Um, as much as I've been printing loads, there's still a lot more I want to print. Um, as far as the flash, flash, the flash forge printer goes, um, and the Elego, both of them have just been non-stop and given me no problems at all um, from the tiniest little um, draw knobs to the drawers the eggs everything I've just been printing out non-stop perfectly um, both machines are absolutely brilliant uh, the next thing I want to do though now is to go for the four colour um, I keep looking at the ADX5 flash forge and that looks so promising. And for the money at the moment, um, I'm probably going to miss the... Um, well, I have missed the good... Uh, the Friday, uh, Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales. But hopefully soon I shall get my hands on one and um, carry on there. Because I can see the advantage of the four... Well, even two or three different colours let alone four, being a big advantage. So, um, oh, there goes the phone.
Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to some stage getting hold of one of those. Um, I've been printing a hell of a lot of Pet G. Um, like I say, the drawers I did in Pet G and quite a lot of other stuff I've done in Pet G and I'm so pleased with the way it's printing and it's definitely stronger. It's just got a, a tougher feel to it. Um, and to be honest, print's as easy as PLA. So, uh, and there's been some better deals on Pet G than they have than the PLA. So I'm really pleased with all the results that I'm getting. Anyway, that's a quick update. And sorry I haven't been posting regularly. However, I do intend on doing more, says he. Um, I've got one more trip to the hospital in two weeks' time. And to have another part of my uh, foot amputated. Um, but anyway, once that's done, I might have to keep the foot up in the air, but it doesn't stop me getting in here and sitting on my chair with my foot in the air and designing and printing bits and pieces. So uh, hopefully I should have another video very, very soon. Anyway, um, if uh, you do get anything out of these, please hit the like, please hit the subscribe, because uh, basically... This is all I've got to do at the moment, um, being stuck in here. So, uh, yeah, I, mean, I do enjoy them. So I shall catch you very soon. Cheers for now. Thanks. Bye-bye.